In this video, we'll learn to convert between units of length, weight, capacity, money and time in the same system. If you've forgotten or get mixed up with main facts about length, weight and capacity, such as how many centimetres in a metre, how many millimetres in a centimetre and so on, go and check the entry two and entry three videos on measurement, because that's the starting point when you convert. So what I want to do now is convert between meters and centimeters. My question is, how many meters is 400 centimeters equal to? So the first thing I need to do is write the main fact about conversion between centimeters and meters, which is that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. Notice how I've written them in a ratio style because I find that easier to make that connection and we'll see what that means. So I've got the units labelled, I've got centimetres, I've got metres, 100 centimetres in one metre. You could have the units next to the numbers as well, so we'll try and do that or change this to equals. So now I want to convert. 400 centimeters into meters. So which one do I know? I know how many centimeters I have. So 400 centimeters this is. And we'll convert that into meters. Now I'll look at how many hundreds fit into 400. And that is four of them. So I've multiplied 100 by four to get 400. So I'll do the same with the meters. So I'll multiply one by four to get four. So 400 centimeters is equal to four meters. Now we'll try another one where we convert centimeters to millimeters. So again, I need to recap. How many millimetres in a centimetre? And there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. I need to find out 5.5 centimetres. How many millimetres is that equal to? So I know the centimetres, so I'm going to write them here. 5.5 five centimeters and I'll find how many millimeters that is equal to. So to get to 5.5 what do I do to 1? I multiply it by 5.5 because a number multiplied by 1 gives the number itself. That's the answer. But if I ever forget I'll do the reverse. I will divide because the multiplication and division are the opposites of each other. So I do 5.5 divided by 1, and that would give me 5.5. So I'll multiply by the same number the millimetres. So multiply it by 5.5. So 10 multiplied by 5.5 gives us 55 millimetres. So 5.5 centimetres is equal to 55 millimetres. And now I'll try and convert between kilometres and metres. So first of all, I know that in one kilometre, there are 1,000 metres. So now... I need to find out 4.4 kilometers. What's that in meters? So again, what do I do to one to get 4.4? I multiply it by 4.4. So I must do the same with the meters. So I'm gonna multiply them by 4.4. I will write this Yes, times 4.4. 4. 
So that gives me 4,400. Because if you remember, when we multiply by 1,000, we move the decimal point three places in the positive direction to the right. So we go one, two, three. So that is the unit now is meters. So because it's the same on the same side, kilometers and then meters. So this shows you how to convert between units of length within the metric system. We'll now look at weight. So I will try and convert between grams and kilograms. I want to find out how many kilograms is equal to 1,150 grams. So first of all, the main fact. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So what do I know? I know that I've got 1,150 grams on the same side with the grams that we've got on the top. So how many kilograms is that equal to? So again, I'll try and find what's happened from 1,000 to get to 1,150. So I'm thinking, what is that number I've multiplied by a thousand to give me one thousand one hundred and fifty, and that number is one point one five. If you're not sure, if you can't do this in your head, get your calculator out and go one thousand one hundred and fifty divided by a thousand, which you also can do without a calculator at this point. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to multiply 1 by 1.15. So that is exactly 1.15. So 1,150 grams is equal to 1.15 kilograms. Or 1 kilogram and 150 grams. When I look at capacity, so I will convert between litres and millilitres. So I've got the main fact, which is one litre is equal to 1,000 millilitres. And I want to convert 0 0.8 litres to milliliters. So what is that equal to? So to get from 1 to 0 0.8, we've just multiplied it by 0 0.8. So we'll do the same on the other side. So we'll multiply 1000 by 0 0.8. And we've learned that we would move 3 places in the positive direction. So go one, two, three. So that gives us 800 millilitres. So as you can notice, when it comes to length, weight and capacity, it's easy to work with in the metric system because it's multiplying and dividing by 10, 100 and 1000 and working with ones as well. So any number when you multiply by one gives you that number itself. And we've learned how to multiply and divide by 10, 100 and 1,000. So most of these things you should be able to do even without a calculator. Now we'll look at money and time. We know that one pound is equal to 100 pence. So if I want to find out that how many pounds make 780 pence. So I've got it under the pence. So what happens from 
to get from 100 to 780, what do we multiply by? And that is 7.8, which is the same as going 780 divided by 100, so that gives us 7.8. So I'll multiply 1 by 7.8 as well. So that gives me 7.8. And don't forget that money is not written with one decimal point, so we'd write it fully as seven pounds and 80 pence, not 7.8 pounds. So money was very similar as well to length within capacity because we worked with a hundred in there. Whereas in time, when it comes to time, we know that it's slightly different. We've got 60 seconds in one minute. So it's not a hundred. And we've got 60 minutes in one hour as well. So the method will be the same. So let's say we want to convert um, 8.5 three meters a uh, minutes sorry to seconds what would we do so to get from one to eight point three we multiply by eight point three so we'll do the same so sixty multiplied by eight point three so you should be able to do this either with a calculator or without the calculator so that when we multiply now gives us 498 seconds so 8.3 minutes is equal to 498 seconds so let's suppose we were given 498 seconds and we needed to convert them into minutes then 498 divided by 60 gives us 8.3 so that gives us what we're multiplying by. So I'd go 1 times 8.3 gives me 8.3. So it's the same thing and exactly the same way of working out would be applicable if you convert it between minutes and hours because there are 60 minutes in one hour. So it'd be the same answer if we had different labels. If you had here one hour and there 60 minutes.